Hello, good evening, and welcome to episode number 13 of the series of Let's Make an Amiga Game in Assembly, or using the assembly language. I have to say that um, I did quite a bit on the game uh, this week but not in terms of code, but more in terms of graphics. Um, it, I'm not good at graphics, um, so yeah, you will see what I did anyway. Hopefully it is a, it's better, it will be better, what we will do. Um, also because I did not want to spend uh, how to say, a lot of time editing, you know, this series is about coding, not about uh, graphics, so editing and using tools, it's out of context, I think. Anyway, let's start um, with the usual uh, thing. As you can see, I always start with this page with the YouTube, with our YouTube page because I only ask for one thing in a way that you like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Of course, there isn't just YouTube. Um, as you by now know, please follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and of course here on Twitch like our facebook group okay or groups because actually there is more than one there is phase 101 and there is commodore dev both are related to uh, phase 101 and of course like our page note also that you um should um should you have any issues please come to discord discord is your place to be for anything related to this, uh, not just this series, even to the things that I do on Saturday, on Sunday, in relation to the book, um, the, or course, 68,000 course. Um, as always, also, if you like what you see and you want to support us more, you can always, uh, come on Discord, uh, sorry, on on Patreon. Uh, this morning I said that there is a, till episode 50. Uh, actually, there is only till episode 49. To be honest, 50 is there. Uh, but I made a mistake uh, in uh, what I uploaded. So I have to redo it again. Uh, and I realized after I I did it, because S50 would be also on, Pat on Patreon and Coffee. Um, unfortunately, it's not there. But episode number 11 is there. And I have 12 ready. So when I do 50, 12 will also be there. Um, may I remind you 
that there is the book page or you know the page where there are the all the links related to 68000 if you want to learn 68000 they are all there if you type book page you should uh, see a link uh, to this page also the sources of the first six episodes plus the debug one okay which was part two i'm calling it part two if you type mega you will get a link to it um let's jump uh, before i continue sorry before i i continue with the code i'd like to send my hellos to all phase 101 members uh, also to the retro programmers inside facebook group and all those that are uh, you know normally i sit there in a way um also um i'd like to say hello to all those that really help that really help me in terms i'm not just referring to mega style for uh you know for helping with the graphics for the series old school coder for uh sponsoring the storage for the videos um there are there are others like hound dog that helps me with uh the streams uh, on Saturday, Sunday, but also in the book translation, uh, in translating the book. And there's others that maybe I'm forgetting and I do apologize, but there are many more that help me in achieving what I do. Um, so thank you to all of you. So let's jump to the uh, game. So I have changed a bit uh, the theme of my uh, visual code. Uh, I think this gives me a better color uh, visualization. The, the, others, the other one, the default of Visual Studio, was giving me um, the colors were too close to each other. So I couldn't uh, distinguish always. Um, so the, I like this theme. Um, I will uh, um, say a few things. Remember that we have added lots of directories last time, um, actually in episode 11, uh, but I have added another one which is for music. I'd like to add music today, uh, given that we have time. Uh, there are other things that I, I'd like to um, do. The game, uh, today I didn't run the C64 version. Let's see if I can do it. So, give me a second. So, ah, thanks for the follow, uh, Norsob. So, this is the game that we are doing. Uh, this was written for the Commodore 64. It's a simple game, and I decided to convert it for the Amiga. This was written by my friend Massimo Bonucci. Um, Um, ignore that the uh, text is in Italian, but this is what we need to do. Basically, avoid the objects as we fall down. And in the middle, there's an energy bar. Oh, sorry, on the right, there is an energy bar and the depth. The depth is how far we went. Uh, and energy bar is if we hit, we die not die we lose energy 
um, like in this case we cannot stay for long in the middle we die we have not implemented this part where he dies when he is in the middle and we also have not implemented the bars okay so I know about uh, I know that those needs to be done so let's close this so just to remind you where we were last week it's exactly how we left it last week okay so no changes so if we are in the middle it goes faster or we lose a life so yeah everything is working with this the last life and boom we die and of course we had this issue um that the screen uh, i mean just goes nuts um, uh, of course i know why and i am i we need to do certain things if you notice i'm leaving there for a few seconds if you notice this sprite is still there so we died game over and we we this sprite is still there that means that we need also to reset this the player apart from that we uh, should be fine i mean we should we will solve all these issues it's not a bug, it's because we didn't um, complete it, basically. But there is a change that I'm going to implement. So, the first thing I'm going to do is, we have the game screen now, and this is the couple list in relation to our game screen. Now, I could use the same screen, okay, and the same copy list basically, and set it up for when we do game over and intro. But that means I always need to go and set up this each time, okay? A better way, okay, is to if you think about it we are not you will have to write routines and this will take memory okay <laughs> uh, thanks uh, Norsob uh, are you interested in on the Amiga yourself so what we are going to do instead of writing routines to reset the screen and do all this stuff an easier way and it will cost us a lot less okay is to um take our copper list okay the one that we have here i'm just going to make this smaller i'm just going to make keep the game dot s in the in the middle of the screen okay because we will use it for each time that we... Ah, C64, okay. Uh, I want to start a series on the Commodore 64, actually. Um, but right now I do not have the time. But I do code for the Commodore 64. Anyway. So, the... Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this copy list, And I'm go going to copy it again. Delete the stuff that I do not need. Okay, so these sprite colors, we're not interested. We will not have sprites. Okay. Colors we will need, bit planes we will need. 
I'm going to remove all the comments that we did. I mean, it's useless duplicating them now. Um, and same here. Now, this already solved us one problem. Actually, I didn't uh, say what we are going to do today. So, I said the sprites were not uh, being disabled. Well, with this, we have this done. Okay, all the sprites are disabled when we switch from one screen to the other. So, basically, I'm going to use, call it, generic. <sighs> screen. Um, now we have to change the labels. Eh? Sprite. I'm going to change the uh, labels, but... Um, pointers uh, and we will uh, uh, see what we have to do today because I, sh I should have done that in the first place we do not need this here anymore instead of generic Hmm. With plain pointers. Plain pointers. Yeah. And We do not need this, we just need this. Okay, so this is our second copy list. So Let's go and see what we need to do today, because there's lots of coding that needs to be done. So, we need to do the game over as and fix it, uh, and not leave it as it was, okay? Notice that I moved uh, the 1201, the fixed sprite respawn delay, for later on. I I'm not avoiding it, it's just that we need a game to be able to fix that. <laughs> Um, so this is why I'm concentrating on this. So we fixed the game over. We disabled the sprites using a copy list, which I've done. We add the intro screen. We fix, I notice we have a, a bug in a way. We are using PAL, but we are not telling uh, the copy list to be careful and to that we are using PAL. I will tell you what that needs to be done. The main loop needs to include the game over and the intro and it needs to include other stuff. That's a reminder for me. And then if we have time we add the music. So there's quite some stuff that needs to be done. Also I see from this, I can see a repetition of routines that we already have. For now, I will not try to have one routine and use it for all, but I will just copy and paste. Okay, and, and then at a later stage, we will improve those routines. Let's get the code to work, basically, that's what I'm saying. So. We have uh, our copper ready. Now, we need to fix uh, 
Yeah, actually, let's do that. Let's fix the part, the bit that needs to handle PAL. It's actually quite an easy. We need to put a, a line on in our couple list. Okay. Uh, F F D F. I hope I'm correct. If I remember it correctly, and then it's always the same. F F F E. This means that when the copper ally arrives at line uh, two for five, it continues. You know, you're telling it to continue to do uh, what what is what is there basically, uh, because we might see uh, issues. Our screen is three twenty by two five six, so we need uh, this especially right now we are not really doing it because we are using sprites but if we had to write something at the lower part of the screen we will really need this because it won't happen so it's quite important to have this in our couple list for pal for ntsc i never i never coded for ntsc unfortunately so i only know for PAL. So I do not know if I need to remove it or you can remove it. I, I do not know what's best. <laughs> but as you can see, I added to both Copelis. We will see if, if that is right or not. I hope it is though. Um, so now let's do the actually if we cannot do the game over screen unless we import yeah unless we import okay so i've done uh, the graphics well done the graphics uh but i'm going to change a bit So this is the game over screen and we need to do an include and what did I name it? this one okay so that should be yo 320 times 6 times 16 So I guess notice that under GFX I have a certain number of folders and under um, each folder it's is a category let's say it's a, so for the game over I have all the things related to game over and then the one that I use in game I take it to the root. Uh, I added same for for example for the font which is copy of what I'm going to use in the root okay um, so game over it's not it's C that's intro oh my god I was looking really Okay. 
and for the intro screen Yes, uh, it is a bit plain. Um, I mean, the Amigos is a bit plain. Uh, so, yeah, the, the graphic that you saw, the image that you saw is a bit plain and it's raw data. It's not IFF. Uh, if, if somebody wants to ask a question and I do not see it or something, just use one of the sounds. Uh, you should have them in, uh, you know, there is hey listen, or uh, there should be phone, etc. Just, just use one of those to grab my attention. So, um, uh, it's not, <laughs> it's, it's not like in Shalan, you talk, yeah, you do hey listen <laughs> uh, you need to click on the icon at the bottom you know where there is the p101 crypto and then do the sound select the sound alert or if you go on the left hand right hand side of the screen you should you should have a pop-up for sounds So that should should solve the uh, problem. So yeah. you redeem them from the icon at the bottom. So the intro screen, let's copy this. It's intro, it's the arrow six. Underscore three twenty times two five six times sixteen. So we have our graphics now. Last time, or even today, I noticed it. Okay, I've got to put this before it. So these two are used by the new copper list and this one will be used with the one uh, that we were using which we called copper list we should have called it something else but i'm not going to go and change the names it will do as it is um now why i'm putting this last i think and I'm not sure, but I think from the garbage that I saw on the screen, okay, and this is not just uh, related because of that garbage, because it's obvious there would be that garbage uh, when we do go to game over, because we didn't clear screen, we didn't do anything. But I think also when we write to the screen using the print, Okay, the, our print info. I think we are writing in a place also where we should not be writing. Um, so I need to check that. Um, if I put one of these after the bit planes, uh, I'm afraid it will. Uh, uh, sorry, after you. Put one of these, this intro screen or the game over screen, after the the game screen. I think 
we are you we would be writing into one of these so that's why i put this last <laughs> but I'm, I'm not sure i might be wrong eh? but i have a feeling that we are writing because i saw something at the bottom that is similar to our text and that means that we must have written there something it could be wrong but i could be wrong but um, i'm just being cautious and then we we can test you start noticing these things when you code on the amiga anyway so we need a file another file in the sources okay with which we will call of course game over so now this should be quite straightforward what i'm going to do here i tell you why we already have a routine that displays a screen and also does the color and it is in our utils let's find it there they are these two So, if I copy actually as is, and we go to game over, and let's make it a bit bigger. So, we can use these same routines, okay, so that we display our screen now it's copying okay it's the same routine we should write it once and use it one million times let's as i said get the game working and then we will we know that they need they can be um turned into just one routine basically uh, instead of having one, uh, another version of them in the utils but let's get them to work and then we will uh, sort them out and actually i already noticed something that we can improve also we should do we do not need this So that's an improvement already. So let me fix it in the utils. So um where did we so now we need not that the data this one so What we need is instead of game screen bit planes, okay, we need the game over screen. So now 
the screens that I did are also 16 colors for Bitplane 16 colors. So I kept everything uniform to keep it simple. I was thinking of making the intro screen 32 color, but I said, okay, let's keep it simple. Let's make it 16. And like that, uh, things are much more simpler. Of course, in your game, you would not do take shortcuts like I'm taking in a way. Um, but this is for learning purposes, this game, not for uh, having the most optimized, most, <laughs> uh, you know what I mean. We are not even low on memory, let alone uh, to think about those things. It's a simple game for learning purposes. So we have the game over screen, uh, the game over uh, thing. Hence, we need the game. Uh, hold on, this cannot be called init bit planes, but um, init game over screen would be nice, and this. Game over players. It should do now. We don't have any more issues there. It should it should be fine. Okay, so we need to test this. No, it should be easy. So we need to include them. In our game dot s. Now this today will change drastically. Okay, uh, the game dot s um so uh um, let me think because i can see what we did last week um but we will not be using we will, i'm not thinking of doing that now um yeah First of all, as our game will not, uh, you know, when we start again, it will exit immediately because we are exiting on the value of this. So this needs to go to zero. The first thing that we need to do. Thinking again yeah, while I'm thinking what we can do. Yeah. Okay. Now this we do not need. And now we do not need the test. Um. Yeah, what we can here, because now we are exiting, so here is branch or not equal, we change this, 
and we jump We don't have it yet ready. Uh, we can change this to game loop. And here we have game. So that's the main. Uh, function of the game remains uh, not there of course French or not equal game loop now this can go because if it's not equal to one then we loop and we continue with our game if it is we reset it and we, we come here basically now we need to wait for raster yes and now we called it init game over screen and set game over I think for now it will do. Um, it should, uh, yeah, let's test it like that. When we exit, we should see the screen at least, and then we'll wait for mouse like we were before. Okay. Let's test it like that. Of course, there are errors. So, in it, game over screen. What do they call it then? In it, game over screen. Eh. How do I expect this to work if I do not add the file? So, yeah, and this is game over, no? So Another parameter. Could not open. Ah, I wrote it wrongly also. Again. Okay, move it to this. Jesus, I even wrote the file wrongly. That should be game. Finally. Okay. Ignore that garbage that appeared in the beginning, okay? I have an idea why. Okay. Let's die. Boom. Now, this sprite is still there, but our image did display. Now, <laughs> why 
uh, the, the image display and uh, this sprite is still there when we created another copy list it's because we changed everything on the current game screen couple lists we didn't change it on uh, uh, the couple list that we created so we need to fix that <laughs> So, it is yeah it is it should be easy um i tell you why because what we can do we always need to do this now okay this is standard To be compatible with uh, the Amiga 1200 etc we need to do this so this is the setup that we had for when the game starts no now we need to change it to the uh, other copy list hence why didn't they make this larger so generic screen so all we need to do is change this And like that, we set the copy list address where it's going to where it is, and then we jump to it. These are for AGA compatibility. We do them, and we leave everything the same. So let's run it again okay enjoy your coffee yeah And we didn't get what we wanted but we get garbage so we are we did something wrong so of course we did something wrong this is pointing to the screen of our game is pointing up here okay remember we have to copy this so I would like not to touch this okay why I am reserving touching this normally in a game okay your screen will be very complex so you just and your intro screen or your game over screen will be very simple so why mess trying to set it up for an intro screen why mess with uh, with the game screen when you can easily have a small copy list that sets things up for you and and this is why this is what why i am applying i'm having to it's not uh, although our game is simple it's just to make you think about it of having two copy lists and use one for the game and one uh, for your other things um, also you will see later on this will help us help us in setting up certain things in advanced um, but for now um, 
let's uh, continue as we are. So here, okay, in game over, I need to replace this with that and same for colors so i changed okay but i changed the copy list but i didn't set up the copy list the bit planes and the colors so we ended up with that with that garbage that we saw because we didn't initialize anything now hopefully this will solve the issue there you go it worked that's my screen yeah it's playing i know but there's at least a game over you know there's there's game over there um so we have our game over screen however we now we need to do the intro screen so In doing the intro screen we are I think we're going to realize that we need to move some things okay so but first let's let's do it okay let's uh, do the intro screen and then um, and then we see uh, what needs to be moved or done How much time has passed? Oh, it's already one hour. Okay. So, let's create another file. New file and call it intro to test we copy these into intro to test Again, we will improve this, okay? We are using the same routine. And we will change to intro screen. So, this one to do it there so this one will be uh, intro 
in it. Okay, I'm over screen. And in it, uh, not game over, but I did. Oh, I left them. Oh my god. I cannot leave them. In it, into the screen, no? Set into colors. Okay. So this in Do not need this. So, when the game initializes, now we need uh, not this, we need the what we have copied down here the generic screen. Also, uh, we can. I think we're going to have a problem, but let's let's do it. Um, let's we have here. Let's wait also for a mouse. Okay, so let's see if the screen will display the intro screen. When it starts the game, it will display. The, then we press the mouse button. Then we have our game. And when we end, we get we go to the game over screen. Let's see if, if we manage to do that. Again, the same mistake as before. We need to add the, in the file. What else? In it, intro cut. In it, intro cut. Undefined. Set. Okay. So let's see if we have our screen. There is my screen. So now I should press the mouse button and the game should start. Given that I, there you go, we are in it and we have the game okay I'm not going to play it okay and we get the game over but I think here is when we will have an issue because if I press the mouse button well, we exited because we didn't loop uh, <laughs> so the reason why is when you press the mouse button, you know, you cannot do it for one frame. 
because we we need to create some sort of delay um, which we will do uh, in a minute but let's create the whole game loop now and then uh, to be fair I'm not happy as it is okay I can see where I can optimize so for example what I mean is we are having our screen drawn no the game screen the intro screen but while we are waiting for the mouse we could have the game uh, main game screen drawn the other thing is that these because we only have one copper list they do not need to be here I, I move them down here but they do not they can be up here and the loop will be somewhere up in, in this part because these we initialize them once and we do not need to touch them except for the init sprite of course the init sprite needs to be done but the the screen per se these two do not need to be done so i'm, I'm already seeing that but for now let's leave it like that um this we will call Also, I'm noticing I didn't do the comments here. Yeah. I think I should be doing those also. So, anyway, let's call it, because anyway, that's the intro, no? So, let's call this part. And we'll sort afterwards. Let's get the code working. Yeah. French. Intro. We have the mouse now. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. yeah okay let's see what will happen now okay so we have our screen and the game starts Remember in the middle, we should die if we stay for a long period of time, but right now we just increase the speed and we came there. Now, if I press the right mouse button, instead of going to the intro screen, I think because the click will be too, you know, assuming you cannot click as fast as one frame. So it will uh, jump to the game, I think. See? It was too fast so we need to fix that yeah. so now see it's 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 impossible so to have the intro screen okay Also, 
let's correct that actually instead of having um, the mouse we should use the joystick now for everything because the I was using the mouse for testing purposes so let's also change it that we uh, wait for the mouse hence uh, sorry wait wait for the joystick fire button so here let's call it intro fire And this is bit seven of part two joystick. Check for fire. Joystick. And we do the same thing down here. Game over. So, is there a clock? Uh, it's it's not a clock routine. It's frames. So uh, basically, I am counting frames. Like what you do on the Commodore sixty four. No, per frame, you do the same thing on the Amiga. That you know, that's how you do. For example, fifty frames per second game. It's frames. No. It, whether it's Commodore, whether it's Amiga, whether it's PC, any machine, it's done the same way, I believe. I mean, all the machines that I programmed on <laughs> used frames. I do not know if there's something else besides frames. Uh-huh. Yeah, in basic, you don't have frames, but um, the Commodore 64... I mean, I'm talking assembly now. You do it in games, in frames. Um, basically, this wait for raster. That means we are waiting for a specific position on the screen when the, you know the screen is drawn using the raster line. No, so we are telling it, and that is done, and that is the it, the screen is drawn in PAL. 50 frames per second so we are telling it to wait for when it reaches a certain line but that is one frame of 50 in a second uh, hence um, while it why it is so difficult um, and we are syncing everything you know we have to do everything the game loop okay this because in basic you don't do this okay but all these routines need to exit, uh, need to um, be done in one frame, okay? So once they are executed, we wait for the frame to finish or reach to our position, and we do the same thing again. So this is why, um, this is how things are calculated. And then if we need to create a delay, we say we want to wait for, I don't know, five frames or 10 frames or whatever. I hope this clears a bit.
and the idea makes it clearer. But same principle, just different assembly. Yeah, so when you are using, well, yeah, because you are using it via basic, but when you are using the Commodore 64, you can, uh, if I can, if I don't say it wrongly, it's D O one two, I believe, either one two or one one hex, uh, the address where you read the raster beam, okay, and there you can specify the line that you wait on hence you can sync things everything in relation to that in basic you cannot do that it's it's a different way of you know basic hides all these things from you I have some, if you check my YouTube, I have some, it's, it's assembly to be fair. I have some videos related to assembly for the Commodore 64. I need to do more. Anyway, so we changed that, but we need somehow to delay when we press here and jump to our uh, game now this is a trick probably there are other ways of doing it but it's a trick that uh, we can we can do uh, also here I have in here this is a trick what i'm going to use which to be fair i didn't know this trick i would have done it a bit different uh, in the past but i learned it from the streams that i do on a on saturday and sunday um as you know su saturday is italian sunday is english and uh, it is wa waiting for a frame and then you wait for the frame but one earlier and that creates like wait for a frame and you can count it instead of creating a loop um, it's only uh, good when you want to delay it by a small amount let's say 10 frames it's not uh, it's not good when you want to delay a, a lot more so this is what we can do so we read the register directly okay and when we say wait for raster up here okay we are waiting for raster one to see okay now we're going to wait for 255 in this case it doesn't matter in our game okay and i'm going to write directly to the register not right wait directly um reading the register directly okay and then we loop till we have one frame now the trick is this you take this 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 what you've done you copy it again call it frame two but you do instead of ff FE, so line to 54 instead of line to 55. That, if you do 
uh, if you do F, okay, you tell me you should be waiting for the next frame. No, you're not. Because if you catch this, you catch the raster line in the middle of it, in the middle of the screen, you catch it somewhere here, okay? Um, if you catch it somewhere in the middle of the screen, you cannot see my mouse. Ah, uh, oh yeah, you can. Cannot see it in the middle. Oh, that's strange. That that must be a bug of. Oh. Okay, so imagine the. Uh, imagine the raster line arrived somewhere here. Okay, where I'm pointing. Okay, if you. Put that loop and that is line 255. We are on raster line 255. By the time it does branch on not equal dot s to frame one, let's say it arrives still here. I'm exaggerating now, okay? If it arrives still here, you are still on line 255. So you'll this one will get executed and the one after and the one after because you are still on the same line. So this is why you do FE. So, like that, you are for sure waiting one frame. And I'm go going to copy this 10 times, okay? And basically, we wait for 10 frames. Of course, I need to edit where there is a fee, but um, yeah, you got the gist, I hope. Um, eight, nine. Yeah. So that is ten frames. So basically, before I jump. To intro okay 10 frames are going to pass okay so if we have um, so if we have 10 and there are 50 frames per second that is one fifth uh, of a second okay so now F E F D F C Okay, so let's hope we have a better delay, okay, before um, we jump to to here so I'm going to do something also these we do not we only need to initialize them once okay so I'm just going to move them from here and put them up here okay
it will define. Okay, so we changed from mouse to joystick. So let's hope that my joystick is configured properly. Okay, and I just need to die. So, so far so good. Now I press the fire button and boom, because the, I created a delay that by pressing it and releasing, I'm able to be in the uh, intro screen, else it would be too fast. It will still remember that I pressed the, the fire button and it will continue thinking that I, I pressed to continue into the game. So that is what that delay is doing. So now if I press it, we go into the game. And we are again there. So let's see. Boom again. So it's it's working. Creating the delay helped in uh, in having uh, the game, you know. So our game loop is is working in a way, okay. But I want to look at it and see if I can improve it. By the way, um, the usual person, Silverette, you're here, eh? Because I haven't seen you. <laughs> anyway, hello. So, now let's see how we can improve this. Because, let's face it, it's a bit of a... So, um, the routine is quite long. Ah, hi. So, um, what I'm thinking is, for example, okay, when we come, so we pressed the fire button, no? So we passed the intro screen. So we can, okay, we can prepare the game over screen for our generic, our generic uh, routine uh, for, for the couple for when we do get the game over. So instead of having it down here and calling calling it down here we might as well call it as soon as we press the fire button when we pass the intro screen the any sprites has to stay there so what I'm going to do, okay? Actually, I'm going to make it here because we still need to initialize that part of the game initialization. But I'm going to say also to initialize the game over screen. Now, with the same 
met it in a way. Um, actually, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So, why am why I am thinking of initializing uh, the game over screen now instead of at the end? The reason why I'm doing it is that so that between. here and when we jump here there would be like a small delay i'm avoiding that so so as if you know sometimes it depends on the machine it's very difficult okay because this is a small game a really small game but you can capture that okay like this it's already there as soon as you hit this line, sorry, this line, it is displayed. Now, you tell me, okay, so why aren't we preparing the intro screen? The intro screen, we can only prepare it, okay, after we pressed the fire button okay so we can we can move this at the bottom but we still need it so basically what we do is we still need it the first time Okay, when the game starts, when we are starting. Okay, we still need it. We can copy this at the bottom. But it's going to be... Uh, well, we can do it, actually. It's not... We, we are not really gaining that much. So we do it exactly after here. We aren't really gaining that much, but let's see. Maybe I am wrong. The most important thing is that our uh, Our main game, you know, it's not touched. That's that's the advantage that we have in such a game, no? So Okay, so press the fire button. But what I've been saying uh, in the last uh, few episodes, I said we have a game. I mean, now you can see that the game is there and the game loop is there and everything is there. All we need is to polish now and make it, you know, better. And this is episode 13. I told you that by 15 we'll finish it. We will finish it, but it will not be polished. Okay. Um, I probably I will pol polish it um, offline. I do not. I don't think I need to do. Need to. You'll be annoyed basically seeing me editing graphics and adding adding stuff. Um, but yeah, the game is there. So it's the same thing. I press the uh, fire button. We got the uh, intro screen. Okay, and then we got the game again. So, so far so good.
Now, did you notice the flicker at the bottom? Let's uh, let let's uh, do the uh, let's play it again, and I see what I you see what I mean. So we are in the game over screen. When I press the fire button, okay, we get um, like a garbage at the bottom or something. It's because the screen is being drawn. Okay, look, look at it. Did you notice the last bottom part? That, that that is because the screen was being drawn and we were switching um probably i can improve that by so what's happening is so we pressed well, yeah, the button So we pressed this, okay? We were changing the bit planes and the colors while the other screen was still there. Hence we saw that flicker because we waited for these frames to pass and then displayed it. So in this case, I think I'm just going to take them out from there. Okay. Well, let's comment, comment, comment them out. Okay. Put what we had before up here. Because they are closer. And see if we see the same with with the delay we will see it more we should not it will still be visible to be fair but not as much to eliminate this we need to uh, switch the screen which i am not doing but so Let's play it like this now. So Let's see if we see the garbage at the bottom. There still was, but I think it's not so visible as much as uh, we had uh, before. What we can do, uh, but I need to look it up probably. while we are changing the screen. Where's the copy list? Register 100 here. What we can do, we can write in 100 no bit planes okay we have four bit planes there we can write zero and then write it back in so what we do is um, or actually Let's see if we call weight raster 
if we see it because I think we're trusted we solve the issue. Because we trust that weights at the bottom of the screen, no? Let's see. Now, this is me being a bit picky, okay, about it. I've seen many games that they do not care about this. Let's see. Yeah. There you go. It's it's gone. Because um can I can you see the let's see what the Amiga is. You can see the mouse pointer. Okay. So what happened is I'm waiting somewhere down here for the screen. Okay, when I tell it to wait for raster. Because by the time the raster goes up again. I have changed the bit plane. It will not flicker. Before it was happening at, remember, we, I, I waited at line 255 and then 254 and whatever. So this is why I was seeing the flicker because it was somewhere here. Okay. Because I told it to wait for one more raster and it is down here this time. It was fine and it worked so now no matter how much we play it it will not um, do it so I'm going to press the button let's see if we see it there you go. Solved. So we have a game basically. Of course, the graphic the sprites needs really, really some love uh, and sort it out. But the game is there. Okay, so let's try to add the music now the music that i have is just a placeholder it's not the music for the game uh, I'm, I'm hoping to have some kind of music for it um by hopefully an extreme um but i can promise by the way the um from next week i won't be sure I'm not sure if I will uh, be able to stream um, on Friday. So keep an eye on, on, on my um, messages, um, Twitter or something, because I'm not sure if next Friday I will be able to, to stream yet. Anyway, so let's try to add... First of all, see that I did all that we had to do. So, game over with it. Disable this, this player sprite with it. Intro screen with it. Add the PAL command wait, whatever in the copy list done. The game loop to have uh, the game over and intro done. What remains is the music. And yeah, we have a few minutes. We can try. Now, the music, I'm going to show you something. The music for the Amiga, we are all used to play mods, no? And for the Amiga, there's a play routine that everybody uses. Now, the play routine that I'm going to use is not the one that maybe uh, many know 
the reason why is I said I will use anything till chapter 7 of the book that I stream on in the weekend. Hence, if I go to the, my library, okay, we had the startup file and I added the music.s, okay? The music.s file, okay, so well, let's add it, has three routines in it. Um, have some, out, some notes. Um, Okay, so let's incorporate the music first. Now, there's one thing that I do not know. If the music routine will actually work with the extension. That, that is a big question because this is a very old one, but I'm trying to use what we, has, what we have done so far To chapter 7 in the book okay if not i will have to uh, figure if it doesn't assemble it 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 will uh, um, will have to figure something out so let's edit and this is in lib and this so let's assemble it as is first of all to see if it's going to fail because that's the first thing hmm okay but okay I think okay empty counter empty data okay let's let me tell you what we can do that maybe i will be able to fix this is the player routine so control f actually control h empty underscore counter. So somewhere it has, I think, and replace all. It has uh, capitals and because, you know, um, Vasim is quite picky on on case sensitivity so empty data now let's do the same thing so i'm making sure that all the case is the same Reference simple undefined empty data. Yeah, I, I mean, this will definitely need to be there. I mean, I didn't even try, okay? So, so let's see whether there is an empty data. It's the only place where it's being used so it shouldn't be an issue hence okay let's do 
Okay. Let's do <coughs> empty in it here. Let's for now let's have it here. Let's have it here and then we see. No, because it will not be in a in a loop. It won't be weight raster. Let's do it in the game only because this is a proper loop. And let's do .s and empty underscore music. And once we exit, we need to do. end so only during the game will have music okay for now if it works so now we need uh, the music file no and that needs to be down here so what it was referring to empty data. That's why it was giving the error. And what your name so that should be in music and we have mod dot as I said the music is if it plays Besides, it will be a miracle. Um, is a placeholder right now. So, let's see. Ooh, that's already a miracle. Trust me. Come on. So, we press the fire button and the music should start. Yes! Okay, so that should not be empty music, but should be empty end. <laughs> with the ex with the excitement, I wrote empty music. Cool. So we can only have as it is right now, as our main loop is. Okay, we can only have music during the gameplay we cannot have music in the intro we cannot have music in the uh, in the game over the reason being we need uh, uh, like a loop also so we wait for raster 
if you notice why did i put it here we have a loop okay from here to here we have a loop and it is here so it is controlled by the raster up here okay and like that uh, it's in sync once we get out we do not have that anymore so this is something that we need i'm going to make a note okay so now we need to fix the music in the intro and game over no so 13 underscore one uh, or six because it was six and this will be this music in intro and game over however because I, i'm already assuming it's going to work let's try it uh, again and when we exit from when we finish from the game it will stop it should stop then it should start again when we play again of course so let's see And it stopped. Now, okay, we go to the main game, uh, the intro. We don't have it. And now it should start again. Let's see. Yeah. If you notice, it continued from where we left. That means that in our... Um, I'm going to repeat it now that there is no sound. Uh, if you notice, it continued from where it left when we, it started again that means if we have the loop in our game intro and game over it will continue to play hence it's something that we can fix next time very easily okay so this stream is yeah two hours like normal and i am very very happy that we managed to do basically all that we had here okay we have the to fix the but we did all this that's that's quite quite good i i did not expect to go to have ever ah, i know what i need to add there yeah we need to optimize no now we need to do it come on so i'm going to do 07 we need to optimize those uh, routines no the intro let's call it uh, setup bit plane bit plane and and setup color Routines. Okay, to optimize them. Yeah, those we need to do also for sure. Because they are annoying as they are. And hopefully I will have also some uh, music um, for next time, which will be let's say more integrated more 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 related to what we have so guys thank you very much hope you have a lovely week or weekend uh, and see you next friday giving that uh, i'm able to to stream thank you very much guys bye bye